Good evening and welcome to St. Stephen's Episcopal Church on this Wednesday, the 1st of July. So glad you could join me for evening prayer tonight. Our service begins in the Book of Common Prayer on, on page 116. If you don't have a Book of Common Prayer available, please click on the link in the description, bcponline.org. It's a wonderful way to follow along our service tonight. Or you can simply sit back and allow the prayers to speak to you wherever you may be. And now, as we begin our time in worship, let us pause, take a few deep breaths, and recall the presence of Christ, which is in our midst. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name, Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you. Forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. O oh, gracious light, O oh, gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O oh, Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O oh God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O oh, Son of God, O oh, giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Our psalms appointed for this evening are Psalms 128, 129, and 130, found beginning on page 783 in the Book of Common Prayer. Psalms 128, 129, and 130. Happy are they all who fear the Lord and who follow in his ways. You shall eat the fruit of your labor. Happiness and prosperity shall be yours. Your wife shall be like a fruitful vine within your house, your children like olive shoots round about your table. The man who fears the Lord shall thus indeed be blessed. The Lord bless you from Zion, and may you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. May you live to see your children's children. May peace be upon Israel. Greatly have they oppressed me since my youth, let Israel now say. Greatly have they oppressed me since my youth, but they have not prevailed against me. The plowmen plowed upon my back and made their furrows long. The Lord, the righteous one, has cut the cords of the wicked. Let them be put to shame and thrown back, all those who are enemies of Zion. Let them be like grasshoppers upon the housetops, which withers before it can be plucked, which does not fill the hand of the reaper, nor the bosom of him who binds the sheaves, so that those who go by say not so much as, The Lord prosper you. We wish you well in the name of the Lord. Out of the depths have I called to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears consider well the voice of my supplication. If you, Lord, were note to what is done amiss, O Lord, who could stand? For there is forgiveness with you, therefore you shall be feared. I wait for the Lord, my soul waits for him, in his word is my hope. My soul waits for the Lord, more than watchmen for the morning, more than watchmen for the morning. O Israel, wait for the Lord, for with the Lord there is mercy. With him there is plenteous redemption, and he shall redeem Israel from all their sins. 
Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to the chief priests and the elders of the people, Hear another parable. There was a household who planted a vineyard, and set a hedge around it, and dug a wine press in it, and built a tower, and let it out to tenants, and went into another country. When the season of fruit drew near, he called his servants to the tenants to get his fruit. And the tenants took his servants, and beat one, and killed another, and stoned another. Again he sent other servants, more than the first, and they did the same to them. Afterward he sent his son to them, saying, They will respect my son. But when the tenants saw the son, they said to themselves, This is the heir. Come, let us kill him and have his inheritance. And they took him and cast him out of the vineyard and killed him. When, therefore, the owner of the vineyard comes, what will he do to those tenants? They said to him, He will put those wretches to a miserable death and let out the vineyard to other tenants who will give him the fruit of their seasons. Jesus said to them, Have you never read the scriptures? The very stone which the builders rejected has become the head, corner, head of the corner. This was the Lord's doing, and is marvelous in our eyes. Therefore, I tell you, the kingdom of God will be taken away from you and given to a nation producing the fruits of it. When the chief priests and the Pharisees heard his parables, they perceived that he was speaking about them. But when they tried to arrest him, they feared the multitudes, because they held him to be a prophet. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Suffrages A. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. The Collect of the Day Almighty God, you have built your church upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone. Grant us so to be joined together in unity of spirit by their teaching, that we may be made a holy temple acceptable to you. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A prayer for mission. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ, 
give rest to the weary, bless the dying, soothe the suffering, pity the afflicted, shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. I invite your own prayers of intercession or thanksgiving, and please feel free to leave those prayer requests in the comment section below. For parish members and friends who are ill, infirm, or in need, including Leo, Rob, Ben, Eleanor, Samuel, Matthew, Phil, Joan, Eloise, Pete, Mary and Scott, Kate, Loretta, Leonard, May, Kathy, Alexandra, Jenny, Rick, Anne, Kelly, Kelsey, Boy, Mel, Pat, Fran, Mark, Alan, Jordan, Noah. For those we name with our lips and our hearts, for those we will name in the comment section, and for those whom have asked our prayers, but we cannot recall at this time. O God of compassion, giver of life and health, we pray your healing mercies upon all who are in any way affected by the outbreak of the COVID-19 coronavirus. Comfort and sustain those who have been stricken, relieve their pain, and restore to them your gifts of gladness and strength. Grant to all in authority the courage to make wise decisions that are essential for the common good, and strengthen them to lead institutions that care for those whom they serve. Protect those who are compelled to work farms and fields, city streets and factories, that put them in danger with very little pay. Watch over all first responders and those in the medical professions whose duty it is to care for the sick. Guard them, Lord Christ, from all danger and keep them safe in the knowledge that it is through their sacrifice and service that the health of the whole community is promoted. Mercifully accept these our prayers, O God of all comfort, and our only help in time of need. Amen. Our worship concludes this evening with the prayer of St. Christostom. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth, and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church, and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. And the blessings of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. I invite you to join me again tomorrow morning at 8.30 for morning prayer right here from St. Stephen's. I wish you all a blessed evening. God's peace. Stay safe and stay healthy. Amen. <laughs>